As everyone now knows, Israel is currently conducting a military operation in Gaza. Although its stated goal is the elimination of Hamas, in reality there are other jihadi Islamist elements in the Strip against which Israel is fighting in close quarter urban combat. Israel has stated repeatedly that it is not conducting a war on the Palestinian people or even on the residents of Gaza. But as calling it a war against just Hamas is slightly inaccurate, I think the best description of the conflict is that Israel is pursuing a war aimed at uprooting Islamist terrorism in the Gaza Strip. And Hamas simply happens to be the most eager exponent of that in Gaza because, well, it's the fighting force of the elected government. It's also the largest fighting force in the Strip by number and the militant group which contributed the most terrorist to the October 7th atrocities. With that intro aside, here are some of the other armed groups that Israel is currently fighting against in Gaza. The Al-Quds Brigade. The Al-Quds Brigade is called Saraya Al-Quds in Arabic and sometimes the brigade is simply abbreviated as just the Saraya. The Al-Quds Brigade is the paramilitary force of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad or PIJ. PIJ is the second largest political faction in the Gaza Strip and is an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood. The Al-Quds Brigade can be recognised by its yellow and black branding as compared with Al-Qassam's green and white. Currently, the Al-Quds Brigade is believed to be holding about 35 Israeli hostages in Gaza. Abu Ali Mustafa Brigades Next on the Gaza terrorist list is the Abu Ali Mustafa Brigades. The Abu Ali Mustafa Brigade is the paramilitary wing of the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, better known as the PFLP. Unlike Hamas and PIJ, the PFLP is a secular faction, although that hasn't made it any less dedicated to pursuing terrorism against Israel. The group is particularly notable among Palestinian militant groups for carrying out a series of aircraft hijackings in the 60s and 70s. Although I haven't seen any reports stating that the Abu Ali Mustafa brigades are holding any Israeli hostages in Gaza at the moment, they did participate in the October 7th massacre with the group releasing video footage of it storming Israeli army watchtowers. National Resistance Brigades Next on the list we have the National Resistances Brigade, called in Arabic Qata'ab il muqawma al wataniya this militant group is also known as the Martyr Omar al-Qassam forces. These guys can be distinguished also by their headbands. Theirs features white writing on colourful red headbands. This militant group has worked in unison with other Palestinian factions in the past, including Fatah's Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade. Because Hamas purged Fatah out of Gaza during their violent takeover, the Al-Aqsa Brigade is the only established faction which did not participate in October 7th. Finally, we have the largest terrorist organization in Gaza, which is the Is Adin al Qassam Brigade. This is the paramilitary wing of Hamas, which also operates a Politburo and which also functions as a civil government in Gaza. Tellingly, Hamas detainees who were interrogated in Israel refer to the al Qassam Brigade simply as the army. So, in this popular conception of Gaza as being a terrorist pseudo state, then the al Qassam Brigade would be indeed something like its armed force. The al Qassam Brigade is recognisable by the green headband which its adherents wear and it's been designated as a terrorist group by Israel, the EU, Australia, New Zealand, Egypt and the UK. al Qassam spearheaded the invasion of Israel that occurred on October 7th in an operation which the group called Operation Al-Aqsa Flood. Although these various militant groups differ slightly in their religiosity, ideologues and history, they all share one common aspiration and that's the destruction of Israel. I hope that today's video has been informative and if you'd like to receive more videos from me then do please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.